After the Indian Ocean tsunami on December 26, 2004, it was clear that some form of warning system needed to be put in place to limit the amount of deaths caused by a future tsunami. In this video, we're going to look at what that system is and how it works. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. The Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System, abbreviated to IOTWS, uses technical components and collaboration between various countries to detect, monitor, and issue warnings for potential tsunamis. Let's have a look at how it does this. The first way it does this is through seismic monitoring. Seismic monitoring networks consist of numerous seismometers strategically positioned across seismically active regions, both on land and on the ocean floor. Seismometers are sensitive instruments that measure ground motions caused by seismic activities such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. These instruments measure the earthquake's magnitude, location and depth, providing critical data for assessing the potential tsunami threat. Data collected by seismometers are transmitted in real time to seismic monitoring centers or observatories for analysis. Based on this data, scientists assess the potential of the earthquake to generate a tsunami and its potential impact on coastal regions. DART system buoys are also used for tsunami monitoring. DART stands for Deep Ocean Assessment and Reporting of Tsunamis. Each DART buoy consists of a surface buoy anchored to the ocean floor by a mooring line. The pressure sensor located at the bottom of the buoy measures the water pressure above it. When a tsunami wave passes over the sensor, it causes changes in water pressure. These pressure changes are recorded and transmitted to the buoy's electronics above, and then via satellite the buoy transmits this data in real time to a ground station or satellite receiver. This station or receiver then relays the information to tsunami warning centers. Using satellites to transmit the data, ensure they can still send data when placed in remote locations of the ocean. Regional warning centers, like the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning and Mitigation System, analyze seismic and oceanographic data from the seismometers and buoys to assess the tsunami threat. The data allows them to create a projection of where the tsunami is likely to hit and what its impact will be based on size and speed. They issue warnings to the countries at risk and coordinate evacuation procedures. These are some examples of warnings you might receive if you're in a vulnerable area. This warning system is likely to save countless lives over time, and similar systems are used all over the world. Do you think this system does enough to protect people in tsunami-prone areas? Let me know down in the comments, and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.